All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Kam Kadash, the honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for the honors, and peace and salutations to the brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. So, Brother Kabardi from the Indiana camp, come you wanted to sit down. Um, as you see the title, it says, uh, de Deforestation Pushes Animals in Uganda at Forest to Eat Virus Laden Bat Poo. All right. So, um, you know, so basically you see, uh, 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 if you read into this article, it basically just goes into the study of, you know, the, because of the de deforestation of the forest that certain wildlife animals are, are forced or are, um, are basically, uh, 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 resulting into eating, you know, things that's not part of their diets. All right. And it goes into chimpanzees and monkeys. All right, and then if you come down a little bit, you'll see it says the Congo, which is the the lungs of humanity. All right, the lungs of the earth, which I believe the lungs of the earth is the um, is the Amazon rainforest, but the Congo rainforest is is known as the uh, the lungs of humanity are under threat. You know, so it just shows you, man. Basically, man, this man is basically destroying the earth. All right, which the scriptures say. Matter of fact, let me grab that right quick. In the book of Revelations. Um, I think it might say destroy, not hurt. This is Revelations 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and their wrath is come. And the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that the and that they should they should as give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and should as destroy them which destroyed the earth. All right, and who's destroying the earth and the habitations thereof, man? All right, it's only one people that rules the world, man. Matter of fact, who is the world given to? All right, let's get that, Job. Job chapter 9, verse 24, it says, The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked, and he covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See, so the earth, the, the planet that we live on, man, is given unto the hand of the wicked, all right? And who is that wicked? Esau Edom, all right? Esau Edom is that wicked, okay? So the hand, so the, the earth is in his palm of his hand. The earth is in his possession, all right? And you see how he's handling it, man, all right? He causes deforestation, which deforestation is basically the destroying of a forest, all right? He causes deforestation. He's causing animals to, to resort and to eat in food that that's not part of their diet, all right? He's hurting the, the lungs of the earth. He's hurting the lungs of humanity, you know, which tr that's, what, that's, that's what trees are, man. Matter of fact, if you look at a, 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 a leafless tree, if you see a tree without leaves on it, it kind of looks like a... a your lungs, you know, it almost looked like it almost represents your lungs almost. You know, if you see if you turn a tree upside down, you know, you see the veins and the, and the branches and, and stuff in the tree. It kind of reminds you of your um, look, uh, look, look side by side. You know, if I go to Google right now and type in, you know, trees and lungs, you know, look at a side by side comparison and you'll see that kind of resemble one another because trees uh, 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 um, are basically the lungs of the earth. All right. And what has and where and where are you find most trees at, man? You find most trees in um in a, a in a forests. All right. Big forests, man. You know, so what you got the Congo, you got hella forests in Africa. You got forests, you got forests and and wildernesses in um what's it called in uh, uh, South America. You know, that's where you got the Amazon rainforest, which one was which is one of the biggest rainforests in the world. All right. And, and and this is basically how, you know, the, the, the world breathes because the world is, a, is an organism. All right. And this is how the world breathes. All right. We with the, the trees breathe in carbon dioxide and we breathe in oxygen. All right. And the, and the trees breathe out uh, oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. So basically we need one another. All right. What we breathe in is oxygen. What we breathe out is carbon dioxide. 
Well, what the trees breathe in is carbon dioxide, and what they breathe out is car is um is a uh, 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 oxygen. You know, so we need one another. Okay, but you got this man. You know what? You got you know Esau Edom that rule that's ruling Earth. That's 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 basically hurting it, and he's destroying it. All right. So guess what, man? The Lord is gonna come back and destroy him that destroyed the earth, man. And who? And like I said, who was destroying earth? It's so called, so called white man. All right. Matter of fact, let me get this to Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter, right quick. And all what I'm getting is basically just you know milk and butter, uh, milk and butter, bread and butter scriptures that just shows you that man. This you know this man shouldn't be in rulership, man. All right. Because look how he's treating the earth. Look how he's treating it. You know. You got a uh, not even to, you know, I haven't even mentioned the the chemtrails that he spreads. You know how much plastic is in the earth. You ever watched that documentary, a uh, uh, plastic ocean? You know they got so much plastic in the earth, man. You know about uh, the the, the uh, they got islands as big as a uh, uh, Texas full of plastic. You know uh, sea sea uh, uh, sea animals dying because they got plastic in their system, you know, and shit, he even, he even made it where you can't even uh, eat regular sea salt because sea, uh, it's, it's, it's micro, it's micro, uh, uh, um, it's micro plastic particles in the sea salt now, you know? So even sea salt's messed up. You got whale, you got dolphins and whales beaching themselves because they rather just die than, 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 than have to, 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 to breathe that stuff in, you know? Fucking, um, What's it called? Uh, 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 um, what was I finna say? Um, shit, he gave the fucking, uh, what is it? The Atlantic, the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean, he gave that fucking chlamydia, you know? So this man is basically just, just doing whatever he fucking wants to the earth and thinking he's not gonna have no repercussions for, uh, for it, man. This is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languishes and, and, and fadeth away. And, ha and the haughty people, of the earth do languish. The earth is also defiled under the habitations thereof because they that transgressed the laws changed the ordinances and broke the everlasting covenant. Right, man? This is a certain way you're supposed to treat the earth, man. All right? You have certain things called land sabbaths. You know, you have you have a, a, a certain a, a certain ways that you have to plant. You know, you don't supposed to mingle seed uh, one, one with another, you know? So there's certain uh, guidelines that you have to treat the earth, man. All right, you're not supposed to just just do whatever you want with it. All right, that's why you know that's why we're having what well, that's why we're having so, so many natural disasters, man. Yeah, because we're also in the end times, but it's also a product of showing that you're not treating Earth the way it's intended to be, man. You're not supposed to have a fucking earthquake every fucking day, where tornadoes and hailstorms and, and tsunamis happening. You know that's not that's not a natural occurrence, man. You're not supposed to have that, man, where where the news says so many stuff going on that they're not even going to report it no more. It's like hundreds of earthquakes happens a day. About 50 to 100 earthquakes happens, happens in a day. You know, that's not normal. Okay? That just shows you that what? Something that you're doing to the earth is not right for it to for it to 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 to, to buck up and 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 and, and, and res So so you know, the repercussions of, of of him doing all this, man, him mistreating the earth, man, is going to be his downfall, all right? It's going to be his destruction, okay? Because you can't just, you, you can't just, uh, just treat the earth any type of way and not respect any re repercussions, all right? This is verse six. It says, therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the habitations of the earth is burnt. And few men left there, and a few men left. See, you know, so you know the curse, which is that curse being who Esau. He's devoured the earth, man. You know, let me look up the word devour right quick. It says to eat, devour, burn up, feed, to devour, consume, slay. All right, to oppress of oppression, to devour of oppression, man. So he's oppressing the earth. You know, he this man is literally oppressing the earth. Matter of fact, the scripture says what? Oh my God. It's like it's this is a uh, hold on. Let me make sure it says yeah. The fir trees rejoice at the cedars of Lebanon. Since the oh, this is going. And this is real going. Um. It says, uh, 
it says uh, Isaiah 14 and 5, it says the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. It says he it says it says he who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke. It says he that ruled the nations in anger. It says it's persecuted and none hindereth. It says and the whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art fall, fell in, since thou have lain down, no feller, which a feller is basically a person who chops down trees, no feller is come up against us. See? So, man, what? Esau, since Esau, since the Lord is going to come and destroy Esau, what? Everything is going to rejoice. The earth is going to be quiet. All right? Everything is going to uh, 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 break forth into singing. All right, that's not what I wanted, but that was pretty good. Uh, let me see. Stock it there with me for a minute. For some reason, I can't find it. Oh, or maybe the spirit's not giving it to me right now. Yeah, I'm gonna just chalk it up as like the spirit's not giving it to me right now. All right, well, but yeah, man. Basically, getting back to the point, man. It's it's it just go. It's, it's basically just going into like a. Hey, Listen, this man's hurting the earth, man. But guess what? The earth, the Lord's gonna come back and 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 relieve the earth from this man's grasp. All right, like the book of um, like the the book of Sirach. All right, uh, I believe the uh tenth chapter talks about saying uh what uh the Lord is just gonna put one over it that that is profitable. All right, because what man, this man is not profitable. This man is, is is destroying the earth. He's destroying the people. You know, nobody likes this man being in power. All right, nobody likes this man being in in, in rulership. So when what when he eventually gets dethroned, everybody's gonna rejoice, have a sigh of relief. Oh, man, this nigga, man, finally. 
You know, scripture says what? The earth should be quiet, like I read in the book of Isaiah, man. You know? So that's all I had. Lord willing, it was a video. I hope Lord willing, hope this video was edifying. Until next time, I'm gonna say shalom.